Well, that felt like a win, didn't it? Be honest, it felt like a win. Hello everybody and welcome back to Very Biased Opinions. It's another review of another Oxford United game. Today the U's travelled down to Portsmouth off the back of what has been a fantastic week. It started with a great win over Rochdale. It carried on with a penalty shootout win over Sunderland in the Carabao Cup, which has now led to us playing Manchester City in the quarterfinals. And this was rounding it off. A fantastic trip down to Portsmouth. A tough game for the Yellows, though. Carl Robinson was getting his excuses in early, talking about fatigue, talking about the injuries. I get annoyed with that quite personally because every side has injuries. Every side has first-team players out. You just have to deal with it. So that being said, we have got some injuries to some key players. Vranagan and Cadden being out are huge losses for Oxford, and hopefully they will come back soon. But because of these injuries and this tiredness, it did cause Carl Robinson to shuffle the deck, and it did cause for us to play a bit of a different formation. We played Mackey up front with Taylor. Don't often play two up front. Doesn't normally work well for us. We'll see how this goes. Asenio came back into the back four. That was understandable. And Mark Sykes came into the side as well, replacing neither Baptiste or Rob Hall, who dropped out from the cup win. This was still a good Oxford side, though. A side that you would expect to go in and put a good performance against a portion of side that's been largely up and down this season. They named an unchanged side from the side that drew 2-2 at Bristol Rovers. A game they really should have won. At the start of the Sunderland game, I said in the video, if you can't be good, then be lucky. And Oxford certainly did rely on a little bit of luck in this one, because this one ended Oxford United 1, Portsmouth 1. Not a huge amount of stuff happened in the first half. It was very much like both sides kind of feeling each other out. Probably Portsmouth had the better of it in terms of the chances. A superb block by John Massinho kept out John Marquis from scoring. Probably would have been an open goal if he didn't get that block in. Sykes had one cleared off the line for Oxford right at the end of the first half. But it was two kind of knocks and injuries that kind of drew the attention of most people. The referee got a ton of shit for Mackey going down with a head injury. He didn't stop the game and that nearly led to Portsmouth scoring. It was that Marquis chance that I talked about earlier. Mackey was pissing with blood from the head. Had to go off to get some stitches. Why the referee didn't stop the game, I do not know. But also, Ruffles got injured as well. Another key player going down for Oxford. Hopefully he's not out for too long. He had to be replaced by Elliot Moore, and that just led to more reshuffling from Oxford. Nil-nil at half-time. This one could have gone either way. The second half started with Oxford with their backs to the wall, with Portsmouth coming on with a head of steam, looking like they're going to get the opening goal. Curtis hit the bar for Portsmouth, and you're just hoping, can Oxford just hold on, hang in there? But sadly they couldn't. They gave away a penalty. It was Elliot Moore who came on for us as a sub for Ruffles earlier on in the game who gave away the foul. And this led to Pompey going 1-0 up in the 57th minute as Gareth Evans slammed home the penalty. And you're starting to think now, is this going to be the end of the streak? Is this the unbeaten run over? Oxford completely looked gassed by all accounts. How are we going to get back into this one? Simon Eastwood really kept us in this game in the middle part of the second half with some great saves to keep it at 1-0. And as it stayed 1-0, Portsmouth started to protect that lead a little bit more and started to invite Oxford into the game. Oxford, with nothing to lose at this point, just started to get up ahead of steam. There are plenty of chances, plenty of pressure, plenty of corners. But, of course, we've already scored our goal from a corner this season, so we're not going to get another one. That happened against Rochdale. Time was ticking away. Oxford, as I said, had tons of pressure, not too many chances, but you're just hoping for that one chance. Would that one chance come? And of course it did come. It came in the 90th minute. Oxford got a break. Ford played in Henry, who played in a wonderful cross to the back post. And there was Matt Taylor, hadn't done a lot all game, to cushion a beautiful header into the bottom corner. Sing it with me, folks. He's one of our own. He's one of our own. Maddie Taylor. He's one of our own. And that's how the game finished. It finished 1-1. Oxford saved their unbeaten streak thanks to that late Taylor header. A very good job done by Oxford. Backs to the wall. I know there's a lot of talk about the tiredness and the injuries. And that's certainly a good point in my book. As I said, felt like a win. Carl Robinson needs to take these Oxford players home and wrap them in cotton ball. We need them well rested for the next game. We might not have a league game now for a while. The next weekend's game is Hayes and Yedin in the FA Cup. Remember, that is on a Sunday and that game is televised as well. So all the Oxford fans can watch it. Great news for us all. Then we play Crawley in the EFL Trophy. And then the Ipswich game may be called off because that is an international week. And usually Ipswich get their games called off. So we're out of league action maybe for a while. 
good chance to rest the bodies, get the injured players back before we go again. I really want to hear comments from all the Oxford fans and Portsmouth fans as well. If you were there, Oxford fans, let me know if you were there, if you enjoyed it, what the game was like. Portsmouth fans, just let me know how you, if you think 1-1 was a fair result and how you think your season's going. Really interested here from all sets of fans on this channel. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also subscribe to the channel if you like the content and hit that notify bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. I will be back very soon with another review. And remember, if you're looking for detailed football analysis, you're probably in the wrong place.